but I think one of the main things you look for at the outset is what is the likely outcome at the end of the case? And that involves uh, an analysis of what is the cost of going forward with the case and what is the likely outcome in terms of who's going to be found at fault, who's going to pay and how much. I've been an attorney since 1977. I had a case involving a wedding shop. This was perhaps 25 years ago where the wedding shop was on the first level of a rental property and the second level was apartments. The tenants during winter break actually had decided to save money that they would turn the thermostat off, not realizing that the pipes may freeze. So when they got back, discovered that the pipes had broken and in fact had leaked into the bridal shop where there were literally dozens of wedding dresses on display, almost all of which had uh, some sort of water stains. They were suing for damages caused to the dresses and also for the loss of income. I was representing one of the college students. I was hired by the insurance company for the college student. We tried the case in a local court and marked each of the dresses as exhibits. Passers-by in the courthouse were amazed because typically there's only one wedding at a time and so when they poked their head in, people who were observing the legal proceeding had to explain that these were dresses that were damaged. We were able to show that the actual income loss caused by this incident was frankly minimal because they lost their inventory and it took time to assemble a new inventory after the uh, water damage dresses were disposed of. Literally liquidating the dresses, that is getting them cashed out via the insurance company proceeds, provided liquidity to the business so they could buy new, more saleable dresses. And after this incident, their income on an annual basis actually rose. We looked at the inventory and they'd been on the floor for quite a while. At least some of them had not been sold for a period of several months. So it's was quite, quite ironic. The loss of income that was actually awarded was much less than what was claimed. That's it.